Good day everyone, Mr. Cargill here with our next AutoCAD video. In this video, we're going to be drawing this vase right here. Alright, and in order to draw this vase, it's going to require us to understand some of the principles of tangency. Okay, so we're going to use some of the principles of tangency and we're going to complete the drawing of this vase right here. Alright, now for this vase, it's symmetrical it say it is symmetrical so that means that since it's symmetrical I could just draw half and then mirror it to the next half instead of drawing both sides okay so we're just going to draw half of it and then mirror it to get the next half so we'll draw the right side so now to get the right side we'll just start with this with the center line here all right we'll start with the center line and it says that at the top we have a line from here to here is a 50 then have a circle with a radius of 8 so this is 50 but we're only doing half so we'll draw this line with a radius of 25 so we're going to start with the center line so let's head over to AutoCAD all right and for this I'm going to get a center line so I'll just select properties um, I'll come to properties and I'll select here we would say by layer click on the drop down arrow um, I have center there already but if you don't just click other load and then select um center and you get your center line okay all right so i already have my center line so i'm going to select my center line yeah all right so i'm going to draw my center line now for the center line the total height the total height of the base it's um 79 plus 50 plus 20 which would be 149 plus 8 for the radius that would be 157 but i'm going to draw the center line a bit longer than 157 because the center line would normally go a bit out of the drawing so a bit above and a bit below the drawing so i'll start off with my um center line and i'll just make it a little bit longer than 127 but not too long 157 sorry all right so here um 180 176 that works for me that's no problem all right, so for here now, I'll start with the line at the top. And for the line at the top, it's 50, but we're only doing one side. So I'll draw 25. So let me choose the outline now. And the reason I chose the outline layer is because this has a, well, I'll set a continuous line here so that I don't get a center line. Okay, I'm good. All right, so now here, I'll draw this circle, this line, sorry, just a bit below the, um, top of the center at the center line here. So a bit down here And I'm going to draw this with a Distance of 25 and the reason we're drawing it with a distance of 25 uh, millimeters is because the Total distance is 50. We're only doing half so 25 And then at the end it says that there's a circle with a radius of 8 millimeters So we'll draw that circle with a radius of 8. All right so for circle, just ensure that you have center radius turned on. And then now, once you have center radius turned on, then you'll have your circle with your radius of 8 millimeters. Good. So now, from there, it's here that from this circle, you have this little curve here. But in order to get this curve, we'll first need this curve here. And to get this curve, it says that from here to down here is 79. So we'll offset this line that we just drew by 79 all right so here i'll click on the line and i'll just type offset or i could select the offset tool here and uh, the offset distance i'll set it at 79 and press enter and then now that would offset my line by 79 nice so now <coughs> i would just extend this out a bit not too much so like that no specific i didn't extend it by any specific distance um i didn't even need to extend it yeah I didn't need to extend it all right so here now it says that for here the distance from here to the center line all right from here sorry from from the distance from the center line to the center of the circle that's what i'm trying to draw this circle that has a radius of 37 it says that from here to here is 21 not from center line but from over this side to over this side here 
for the center of this circle is 21. Now this object is symmetrical and this is 21. Um, so that means I will have to split that 21 <coughs> into 2 which gives us 10.5. Alright, so from here, this would be the, over here we'd have the center for this circle and over here we have the center for this um, circular curve here. Alright, so that total distance between those two centers is 21 so we'll split that into 10.5. So what we'll do from here is this. We can do a number of things. Um, we could offset the center line to get the 10.5. We could just draw a line 10.5 <coughs> or we could select a circle, just move my cursor out, type 10.5 type and it will give me the specific point that I'm looking for. But um, to keep it simple, I guess I'll just offset the center line. So I'll just select offset, set the distance to 10.5 and then I'll bring this over here. Good. So here, this now is the point that I'm looking for. So from here, I'm going to draw a circle with a radius of 37. All right. So where this line meets the horizontal line here, I'll draw a circle with a radius of 37. So there I have my circle. So I can delete this, set, this second center line. I, I just needed it to get the center of my circle. So there I have my circle. Now it says between these two circles, between this circle as a, as a radius of 8, and this circle has a radius of 37. There is a curve that has a radius of 25 millimeters. All right, so for that curve that has a radius of 25 millimeters, this is what we're going to do. This curve is an internal tangent. The, ta the curve that we're looking for is a tangent to both these circles. Tangent meaning that it touches the circles without going through them. Okay, it just touches a point on the circle without going through the circle. Now it's an internal tangent because it's going to circles like that. If it was going outside, it would be an external tangent. So the principle is, whenever you're doing an internal tangent, you'll add the radius of the tangent that you're looking for, or the curve, the tangential curve that you're looking for, to the radius of the circles. So it's like this. The curve that we're looking for has a radius of 25 millimeters. This circle has a radius of 8. So we'll add 8 to 25, that will give us 33. Alright, so, so what I'm going to do is from the center, let me just select like a different color, like a construction line, like gray right here. So what I'm going to do from the center of this circle, I'm going to draw a circle with a radius of 33, which is 8 plus 25. Good. And this circle has a radius of 37. Good. And then the curve that we're trying to find, or the internal tangent that we're trying to find, has a radius of 25. So what we're going to do over here now is to add 37 to 25. And when you add 37 to 25, what you get is 62. All right. So 37 plus 25, that gives you 62. So from the center here, I'm going to draw from the center of the circle. Remember, the center of the circle isn't here. The center of the circle is, if you want to find the center of the circle, just put your mouse on the circle and it gives you the center. The center will come up. So the center is here. But you would have to have geometric center turned on. So in object snap, ensure that you have center and geometric center turned on. All right. And now from here, put your, your um, cursor on the circle, then the center will, sh will show. So from the center here, I'm going to draw this circle with a radius of 62 millimeters perfect so where the two circles meet each other this gray circle and uh, this gray circle where they meet each other right here from here i'm going to draw a circle with a radius of 25 millimeters all right so let me just select um, a different color select white again all right so where these two circles meet right here i'm going to draw this circle with a radius of 25 and that circle is going to be touching these two circles perfectly without going through them. So it's a perfect tangential curve. Good. So now I can trim what I don't need. So I'll just press TR and enter, enter to trim. Actually, before I trim, let me just delete these circles. Um, these are construction lines. In an exam situation or you know, if you're doing this in class or so, then you'd, you'd want to keep the construction lines so that you can show that you can show your working out and how you got the vase. But just for the sake of the video and having less construction lines so that you can understand, I'm going to delete these construction lines. So now I'm going to trim. TR, enter, enter. 
and then I'm going to click here and it's going to trim off that part of the circle and I get my little curve there. Nice. So now the next thing that I need, all right, so before I go down there, let me do this. At the top of the, this circle here, the top of the small circle, ensure that you have quadrant. Turn down in object snap. Turn on quadrant here. Yeah, normally I just have everything turned down in object snap until I need to turn off something. All right, so from that quadrant, I'll bring this line across to the center line. All right, good, good. I'm going to trim this circle, but before I trim it and everything, let me just get the rest of the curve and then we we finish up the drawing. All right, so the next thing we need is down here. There's a curve here. All right, so there's a curve and it curves down to this line and this curve has a radius of 23 millimeters and it says that from here to here is 20. Good are from here to down here is 50 so we can offset this horizontal line here down by 50 and then now we can get this curve here so this is how we're going to get the curve here i'm going to click on this line and i'm going to select the offset tool again i'm going to set the offset distance to 50 enter and offset that down by 50 good now it says the curve that i'm looking for here has a radius of 23 and it's an internal curve or internal tangential curve all right because it's going to go in between the circle and the baseline that will be here good so for that this is what i'm going to do i'm going to add the radius of this circle to the radius of the circle for the um tangent or the tangential curve or arc that I'm trying to find. So in that case, this is 37. 37 is the radius for the large circle. And the curve that I'm trying to find has a radius of 23. So I'm going to add 37 to 23, and that gives me 60. So let me just double check to see if those are the correct measurements. Yes, this is 37, that's 23, that gives me 60. So I'll select a gray line here. I could just create the layer for the construction lines instead of having to always be changing the color. So I could just create a, a layer for the construction line and just make it gray. All right. So now I'll select this circle and from the center of the circle right here, go from the center of the circle again, just move your cursor to the circle and then the center will come up. So this is the center here. So I'm going to draw this radius of this circle with a radius of 60. And where this circle cuts this line here, this is the center for my art that I'm going to drive here, draw here. But before I draw that curve, I'm going to draw the baseline here because the curve stops at the baseline. And it says the baseline is 20 millimeters away from here. All right, 20 millimeters. So all I have to do now is to offset this line by 20. So offset and set the distance to 20. Press enter. Click on this line and just offset it down by 20. Perfect. So now I'm going to select a circle. Let's make it white. I'm going to select a circle. And right here where this circle cuts this line, I'm going to draw this circle with a radius of 23. Enter. All right, good. And here I have my curve. Now my vase is basically finished. All I have to do is to trim up some things. So again, I'm going to delete the construction line just so that you can see the, per the curve um, of the vase perfectly. And I'm going to delete all of these. So I'll delete this line. I no longer need that. I no longer need this. Um, I no longer need this. Again, you would keep these. You would just put them in a different layer. In a construction line layer. So you can make them grey. But for the joint to be clear and you can see everything. That's the reason I'm deleting them. So I'm going to trim this by typing T R enter enter. I'm going to click on this circle here. And I'm going to trim this here. Also trim down here. I also need to trim this, trim here, and trim there. Good, um, and trim that as well. So now I have this half my base. All I have to do is this. I can click on all of these and mirror them. Well, before I mirror them, let me just join them. I'll just type J. J means join, and just press Enter, or just click on Join. So now it will treat everything as one. And what I'm going to do is to click on the mirror tool right here. Click on the mirror tool. Or just type mirror. Click on this object. All right. Press enter. 
it's going to ask me for a point from where I want to mirror them. So I want to, let's say I want to mirror them from here. And I just move my mouse up like that and click up here. It's asking me if I want to erase the source object. No, I want to keep the source object. And just like that, that's my base right there. Okay. So it's just the principles of tangency, understanding how you go, go about dealing with internal and external tangents and arcs. And that's how you complete the drawing for this base. Okay. So I hope you found this video helpful and I'll be going through more um, tangency drawings. Alright, so thanks for watching and do have yourselves a fantastic day.